Can you name all four Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles? Did you know that all four Ninja Turtles are named after four famous Renaissance painters? Raphael was born into a period known as the Italian Renaissance in which was a time of rebirth of art, ideas, and culture. This painting, Madonna of the Metal, that was painted by Raphael himself is an oil on wood painting painted in 1505 that was commissioned by Pope Julius II. To begin, the Virgin Mary, also known as Madonna, is wearing a red long sleeve dress with a black collar with gold embroidering. On the top of the dress, Mary has on a royal blue cloak that also has gold embroidering at the end. Her hair is a light golden blonde that is brushed back in an a updo braid. It appears that she is wearing a brownish colored head wrap with stripes going down. Above the head wrap is a gold halo that symbolizes a divine person who holds a strong spiritual power. Her rosy cheeks bring color to her porcelain skin. Mary's eyes are gazing down at John the Baptist who is holding a wooden cross. The painting is in a pyramidal composition which draws your eyes directly to Mary, then to infant John, then to infant Christ. Secondly, John the Baptist, who is depicted as an infant, is partially clothed with only wearing what seems to be a white sheet that is tied around the torso and is only covering his upper body while exposing his genitals. His hair is a radiant orange color with curls filling his head. His skin is also a porcelain color while his bright pink cheeks give his face color. He is kneeling on his left knee while his right bare foot gives his body support on the ground. John the Baptist is holding a long, thin wooden cross with both hands as if he's giving the cross to Christ. A golden halo is floating on the top of his head. John the Baptist is a prophet who spoke about the coming of the Messiah by being Jesus' cousin, who Mary and Elizabeth, mother of John, are cousins. Lastly, infant Christ is standing in front of Mary, fully nude and also barefoot, his hair short and golden blonde. With his right hand, he is holding the cross that John the Baptist is handing to him. With his left foot in front of his right foot, Mary is gently holding Christ with both hands around his stomach as if she's stabilizing him to stand up. Again, a golden halo is floating around his head, symbolizing his divinity. The background landscape is a very calm environment. Behind Mary is a clear blue lake that surrounds the land. A small church is seen on the far left side which is just behind a mountain. Forest green trees surround the church while across the lake is nothing but trees filling up the land. The subtle blue sky is colored with only a few puffy clouds. In the foreground of the painting displays nothing but a green landscape. A red flower blooming behind Mary and a small yellow flower next to John is the only plant life shown. Green leaves are shown at the bottom of the painting to show the essence of nature. The formal elements this painting composes of is use of its form. The painting is in a pyramid form, drawing your attention to Mary, then to Jesus, and lastly to John. The color intensity is that of a bright red and blue in the center, bringing light and color to the dull and faint background. The implied line of having Mary paint the focal point indicates that she is an important figure. One may ask why were highly appreciated Italian Renaissance painters painting biblical characters? What was the significance of these paintings in Europe? Before the Renaissance, period, an era known as the Middle Ages was the fall of the Roman Empire. Although some might think that the Middle Ages was a period of darkness, it was rather a period when Christianity and Enlightenment began to spread throughout Europe, which led to the control of the church and the ideology of philosophy, math, science, and rational thought began to impact the people. Medieval painters began to paint the Virgin Mary and infant Christ around the 13th century to portray a mother figure by showing the relationship a mother has with its child. During this era, the Madonna and child paintings were typically painted to remind the viewer that Jesus was both God and human. Madonnas are painted to represent purity, divinity, and innocence as what every mother and woman should portray. As years progressed, these paintings began to look more realistic as the Renaissance period came. Notice in how the depth of Jesus is floating in Mary's arm, and the overall size of Jesus is that of a child, but looks like an adult. The Medici family attained their wealth and political power in Florence during the 13th century through commerce and banking. 
The family used their wealth to help foster the Italian Renaissance and build a growing dynasty. The Medici influenced the development of art by their patronage. Giovanni's son, Cosmo de' Medici, took control of the government in Florence as well as the family's banking business and established business connections all over Europe. Cosmo de' Medici supported the arts as he commissioned great artists at that time to paint inside cathedrals. Because of his extensive patronage, he was able to bring creative revolution to Florence. The family's influence allowed Florence to experience a rebirth in classical culture and art. The School of Athens was painted by Raphael around 1509 and 1511 for Pope Julius II, who commissioned Raphael to paint the papal apartments in the Apostolic Palace. The painting incorporates Plato and Aristotle, Greek philosophers whose ideologies were incorporated into Christianity. Great Renaissance painters such as Michelangelo, Leonardo da Vinci, and of course Raphael himself are illustrated in the painting to reinforce the concept of shared ideas and rational thought. The painting was highly influenced by Greco-Roman art and philosophy. So one may ask, why do Madonnas hold a meaning behind Renaissance paintings? Like many other highly appreciated Renaissance painters, Raphael painted his Madonnas with meaning. In nearly all of his paintings, in most cases, the Madonna is always wearing a red dress and a blue cloak, which symbolizes her position as Queen of Heaven, while the red symbolizes the blood of Christ. Anne Van Buren also gives a detailed description as to why all Madonnas are illustrated with a nude child. According to Anne, she states, the painter modernized the group by presenting the child nude in a, manner, in a manner inaugurated in Italy in the 14th century. Such a model will explain the psychological distance that all writers sense between the Virgin and her adorer. Raphael paints Madonnas to give meditation and to pursue the worship of Christ. According to Anne Van Buren, she states, With the divine child at her knee, she is ensconced there as the seat of wisdom. The child is a divine wisdom, which identifies with the agent of creation. Cultural studies displays itself throughout the painting. According to Carl Goldstein, author of Rhetoric in Art History in the Italian Renaissance and Baroque, he mentions that after the war with Milan and Florence, artists were influenced by Christianity and humanism, which emphasizes critical thinking to portray feelings throughout the art through the lenses of emotionalism, distortion of the human figure, and having lighting and perspective. According to Carl, he stated, Florentine independence began in 1390 with the declaration of war by Milan and ended only in 1454 when Milan accepted independent status of the Florentine Republic. The ideals of liberty and civic involvement gave a rise to a distinctive type of humanism rooted in a new philosophy of political engagement and active life. Iconography is another critical approach that is expressed throughout the painting. According to William Hood, author of The State of Research in Italian Renaissance Art, he mentions that most Renaissance painters use Venetian color palettes to intensify colors. This was explained why Mary is dressed in a vibrant red dress and blue cloak. The Vienna Museum opened in 1891 and houses some of the leading fine arts. Inside the museum consists of 15th century Netherlands Renaissance paintings, German Renaissance paintings, and 16th century Italian Renaissance paintings. A total of 700,000 visitors a year visit the museum. From museum art found in Byzantine churches, these handmade dresses were inspired by paintings and architectural details of church ceilings and floorings, which inspired the handmade detailing and bordering to represent the time period. My friend Maria and I created these collection of dresses which were modeled by Dominican students to bring Byzantine history back to life and to show the elegance of detailing. Now my question to you is this, do you think Maranos should be an image that all women should follow by? In what elements does this Marana portray that makes you believe her purity?